$361.23 a share. But Yahoo analysts estimate that in the next 12 months, they can move up to $489.82. Hey guys, this is January 2nd through January 26th winning stocks. And we want to go through the stocks and how they move this week on our fundamentally sound watch list. But before we get started, I just wanted to mention that towards the end of this video, there is a special request that I'd like to make of you guys. I, I try to offer you whatever financial help I can along the road, but this time I need your help. I need something from you. So stay tuned for that towards the end of the video. But in any event, we want to start off our watch list. We know I like to start it off with the S&P 500 the Dow and the NASDAQ. And the reason I like to do that is because those three pretty much represent the way that the entire market is moving. S&P 500, 500 of the biggest companies on the market. And we know the S&P 500 moved up like nine weeks in a row. Each of these candles represent a week. It had one negative week, but now it's climbed. It's moving up. It moved up for its third week now. Then we come to the Dow. You see the same thing. It climbed nine weeks in a row. Then it went sort of sideways and sort of like a doji, meaning that it ended the same place it started. But now it's on the climb for this for the third week. When we get to the NASDAQ, we see that the NASDAQ was climbing as well, hit a negative week. Now it's on its third positive week, but this week was a doji. It ended in the same place that it started, but still a positive week. So having said that, let's look at the stocks on our watch list. Now, we know our watch list is a watch list of fundamentally sound companies that are moving up from their annual low price. And with the stocks on this list, I like to break them down into three tiers. Three stars, which is the most fundamentally sound. Then there's two stars, which is a little below that. Then there's one star, which is the least fundamentally sound of the stocks on our watch list. Still fundamentally sound enough to get on the watch list, but it's the least fundamentally sound of them. So Weiss Markets is a one star. And we see it drop the last couple of weeks. Now we had one positive week this past week. We want to see what it does moving into this next week. If it's starting to move up into this next week, that may be an opportunity to jump in. But realize it started to do that before, move sideways, and then it dropped. If it starts to drop, you want to get out of it. But we want to look at it going into this next week to see what it can do. It's at $61.47 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate for it, but my estimate based on P.E. ratio is that it can go up to $86.27 in the next 12 months. Marriott Vacation Worldwide. They are a one-star. Currently at $87.51, Yahoo analysts estimate they can go up to $101 in the next 12 months. Notice they're moving sort of sideways. They've been dropping a little, but really, it's in the same range as this green candle. Then this last week, we had a, another green candle form. It started to move up 
question is going into next week, is it going to drop again? Or is it going to sort of break out of this area and start to move up? So you want to be looking at the candlestick charts next week, maybe Monday, Tuesday, and see what starts to happen. See if it starts to move up. Method Electronics. They are a one star. Currently at $21.28 a share. And we don't see much room moving up. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $28.50 in the next 12 months. Notice they're sort of in a little sideways pattern here as well. Not really much movement at all. But they don't have much room where they could take up. If they do actually get up to around 2850 and stop, that's not much area for growth, at least for this year. Advanced 6. Advanced 6 is a two-star, currently at $26.33 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that they can go up to $38.67 in the next 12 months. Notice they started to move up, then they came right back down four weeks in a row. Now we see a green candle. We want to be looking to see if they start to move up again, or are they just going to continue in a sideways bed? Hershey Company, they are a three-star, currently at $190.21 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can go up to $209 in the next 12 months. Notice they were positive for about three weeks. Then we had two negative candles, not much of a move down, but they didn't move up oh, maybe about a week or so back. This was actually my pick for this week's option pick, but they didn't move up as I expected. I had to let them go at a loss, and you could check out this week's option picks to see what I'm holding now the progress. Then we have Genuine Parts Company. They are a two star. Sort of moving sideways, but yet moving up. This was sort of sideways. This last couple of weeks they moved up. They moved up last week. They started to this week, but then came back down, but it was still a positive week. They're currently at $142.63. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $154.09 in the next 12 months. Chevron Corporation. We know many of us may be familiar with Chevron, the gas station. They are a one star, currently at $149.14 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $176.17 in the next 12 months. They started to move up a little and came back down. They're sort of moving sideways. Let's see if they break out in this next week. Yum China Holdings. They are a current option holding pick. Yum China Holdings is an interesting company. They are a subsidiary, I believe of Yum Brands. And Yum Brands, for those who aren't familiar, is Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, and KFC. 
as well as in another restaurant I can't remember right now. Well, when Yum Brands moved into China, it sort of became so popular that they spun off their own subsidiary in China, which is called Yum China Holdings. KFC, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, and a few other restaurants. In any event, and the, the full analysis on Young China Holdings is in the channel as well, for those who are interested. In any event, Young China Holdings is at $35.50 a share right now. They're a one star. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $59.70 in the next 12 months. Now, they actually moved up this week. They started down here, they moved up. The only problem is they moved up, then throughout the week they came back down. So they kept a little less than half of the gains they made from the beginning of the week. But during the end of the week, they started to drop back. So we want to see what they do going into this next week. And that will also determine what I do with the option holding. Humana. That's Humana, the healthcare company. We don't see any green candles here because they dropped considerably considerably this week but notice they dropped all the way down here and notice the long wick to this candle at the bottom they moved back up towards the end of the week so the question is coming into this next week are they going to stay down or are they going to start to move up just like when Paycom fell. Paycom dropped dramatically, but then soon after they started to move back up. Now, Humana is a, con, the price is considerable. $361.23 a share. But Yahoo analysts estimate that in the next 12 months, they can move up to $489.82. They are a two-star. An option on them would probably be considerable, at least one with a decent long-term expiration, like at least three months and at the money. But there's somebody to watch. And we have ExxonMobil, another gas station. They're currently at $103 a share right now. They're a one star. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $125.12 in the next 12 months. And notice. They had a pretty decent sized green candle this week. We want to see what they do going into next week. John Bean Technologies. They are a two star. They've been moving up. They've been positive the last three weeks. They're currently at $102.20 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $110.33 in the next 12 months. Okay, guys. I need your help with something. I was speaking to the um I was speaking to a specialist to help me with my YouTube channel today about getting some more organic growth where people can just 
search for things on YouTube, they find my videos and so forth. Videos are suggested to people and so forth. And something was brought to my attention. What was brought to my attention is that I have videos in many, covering many different areas in terms of finances. And they were saying, if I narrow that down, particularly to what's doing well, then I'll get more suggestions and searches. And the thing that's doing well right now is options. I put out of this week's option picks. Talk about options, and I actually buy an option and let you see the progress of how it's going. The only problem is there's a lot of areas covering this investing thing. And there's a lot of people who need help. And that's why I do so many videos. I do videos. I have the best Black Friday sale ever where I'm telling people about stocks which are on sale, which they can be buying and will grow in value rather than spending their money on things that lose value over time. I do check this before buying any dividend stock, where I show them what they could check to make sure that the dividend stock that they're buying is worth the money, even though I believe there's better options than dividend stocks. The best gift for your child which speaks about getting your child into stocks, getting them a brokerage account, and so forth. Five things you can do if you're 50 or older with no or little retirement. So I do a wide range of, I cover a wide range of topics in this channel, as well as what are commodities to increase the knowledge, the investing knowledge, the financial knowledge, and so forth. And I don't want to stop doing that and just focus on options because I want to widen the knowledge. I want to increase the knowledge of these different areas in terms of finances. But if the YouTube algorithm is going to punish me by not dispensing my information because of the fact that I cover a wide range of topics, I would like you guys to help me out by doing what the YouTube algorithm is not doing. And what do I mean by that? I mean by that that I would really appreciate if you would share these videos with other people to help them to improve their finances, become more financially savvy, learn about these things and so forth. I have videos covering just about various different topics and reaching out to various different people, older, younger, people with people who are not that well off financially people who are better off financially and they're able to do more with options and with stocks and things like that. I have things talking about currencies, things talking about commodities. So I'm pretty sure there's people out there that you can share stuff with. I remember one time I was on, I was on vacation. I was in Kenya and I was speaking to a girl. She was in college and she was in economics class. And I was, at the time, I was looking into currencies. I'm like, oh, you're in economics? You should be studying currencies. Because I remember when I was younger, oh, people always saying, oh, the things we're learning in school, those things don't even apply to real life. We're not even going to use them in real life. Well, you learn economics in school. If you were dealing with currencies, that would definitely apply. Even if you're dealing with commodities, that would definitely apply. That's all helpful information 
that will be able to help you put money in your pocket now rather than sometime in the future or whatever. So it would directly apply. So there's loads of things on the channel that you can share with others that you may know personally or people on social media or whatever. And I'm asking of you guys to please do that. Please share some of these videos with others. And this same information that I'm sharing with you guys to hopefully help you. Let's get it out to others and help them as well. It's not taking away from you. As a matter of fact, if you share information about a stock with others and you own that stock and they're buying it, that helps the price to go up. It doesn't take from you. It adds to you. So please share this information. And guys, have a great weekend and have a successful market week next week. See you in the next video.